So I'm gonna just ask you to tell me what happened on camera. What happened? So, and I, I, you don't have to be on camera your face, by the way, unless you well, want. Well, they, they, they. It started out with the cigarette thing. They said, "Okay, you can't panhandle here, right?" So I said, "Okay, uh, I'm out of here." But I, well, as they were talking to me, I, I lit my last cigarette. And then they, oh, they pointed out, oh, did you not read the sign in the window? You can't smoke within three meters. I said, well, I didn't notice it. Anyways, so I went to flick my pack of smokes behind the one cop towards the garbage can, and I kind of did the curveball thing and yep. hit, her, hit her in the side. Yeah. That's assault. Oh, fuck, what the... Anyways, I said, okay, I'm out of here. So I went to ride away. On your scooter? Yeah. yeah. They tackled me, flipped me and the scooter over. I have one on each fucking arm. I've already got fucking torn cuffs. They're ripping my fucking arms behind me, the two butchers. And the worst one is I had the big butch on my right arm, which has been torn worse than the left. So the you're, you're, there were two, two police officers who were female and bullies? Yeah. Okay. Even Doug knows them. Yeah. So, so, and just to clarify, you were on a spot that you've been panning for six months on a regular basis, right? Yeah, yeah. Not a problem in the world. And the people in the building, there, there's no complaints. People in the building, a lot of the women that work in there yeah. come out and give me change, give me smokes, they talk to me. They like me. So where, where were you panning, do you mind saying? Uh, in front of Van City Bank on Fort and Douglas. So if you're missing your uh, homeless person at Van City Bank, who you cannot do with for months, the police pretty much tackled him off his spot by the sounds of it. Yeah, and those bruises are pretty heavy duty. So they tackled you on your scooter and both you, your scooter, and the two police officers went rolling? I don't know. Because I had a few drinks. So when they tackled, I don't know, everything kind of went blank yeah. when they tackled me. like. Yeah. All of a sudden, I knew I was on my side, and they were both on my arms, ripping them behind my back. Yeah. So, where's your? Do you have a ticket or anything? Some kind of a? Oh yeah, charge I've got. I, I've got. Uh, I think four tickets, four or five tickets. <coughs> yeah, maybe we'll get them. And then they, cause the thing is, I thought when they busted me, they said stay away from the 700 block, which I thought was the building. So I was back the next day wasn't near the building, I was away from the building, and down the street. Nope, the same two dykes come down the street looking for me, and they got me. So do you have, did they red zone you? Well, they kicked me off of the 700 block, I guess the whole street from Blanchard to Doug. We, uh, we should get your paperwork, thank you so much for sharing the story. And let's look at your paperwork, and maybe this is going to be a police complaint around being red zoned. Yeah. Thanks so much. Let me put my makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to thank you for, I mean, I put my hand in front of the camera for you because I wasn't sure that you wanted your face shown. So this is the brother who, on December 20th and December 21st, had to deal with police on, in front of which bank again? Van City. So Van City on? Uh, Fort and Douglas. Fort and Douglas. So he's been panning in front of there for a few months, and there was an elder man who, who witnessed the police uh, basically attack him. Maybe you're going to see this video or maybe you, you know this man. Can you get in touch with Thaw Victoria at thawvictoria at gmail.com thawvictoria at gmail.com and I'm just going to take better photos of those bruises. Thanks for showing your face. Hey, man. Appreciate it.